Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you are ready for an extremely enthusiastic review right now because I've truly never seen anything like everything everywhere all at once and I'd just be really shocked if this film does not wind up being one of my absolute favorites of the year. This now feels like a bit of a dumb thing to say right at the top of my review but I do have to be honest with you guys about this. I, I don't think anything that I'm about to say will fully convey how incredibly special and powerful this film is, but at the very least, I do hope that my thoughts do convince you to check it out because it is a one-of-a-kind thing right here. First, synopsis time though, Michelle Yeoh leads the film as Evelyn, a laundromat owner who is extremely overwhelmed by an IRS audit and also her father coming to stay with her and her family. In fact, she is so wrapped up in those things that she doesn't really give her daughter Joy the attentive ear she really needs. Evelyn's present concerns just seem like the biggest deals in the world. That is, until she's at her meeting with the IRS agent and suddenly her husband Wayman gets her involved in a multi-dimensional adventure. I still can't get over how well this movie works and it's hard to find a starting place with this review because it just has so much to offer. Everything, everywhere, all at once kind of reminds me of Pixar's Inside Out in a way. Yes, it can be looked at as a highly inventive timeline hopping adventure with some stellar set pieces, but it's also a movie that takes very familiar human truths and challenges and it depicts them on screen in very unique ways that I think, yes, make them entertaining, but also quite digestible and even enlightening. With Inside Out, it inspired me to rethink the value of certain emotions by anthropomorphizing them. And now, everything everywhere has, has got me reconsidering so many things or reshaping how I look at them. Things like the importance of embracing where you are and continuing to forge forward rather than wondering what could have been. There's also an emphasis on the value of kindness, family support, and also showing you what it can feel like to be pulled towards a darkness. Sometimes those kinds of things can be hard to see and understand, but apparently when you show them to me in the form of an everything bagel or hot dog fingers, those things become a whole lot easier to process. I can't believe what I just said, but it is true in the case of this film. All right, now to address the story details here. So. Many of you know me and my taste well enough at this point. I do genuinely enjoy over-examining complex narratives, piecing together all the details, and making complete movie Bible-like sense of a story. And yeah, I can't wait to watch everything everywhere again to catch all of the wildly creative and thoughtful details that I likely missed the first time around. But I think it speaks to the emotional power of this movie that I could not care less if someone pinpoints a plot detail that can't be totally backed up or 100% makes sense. Plus, I also do think that not having a precise answer to the questions why or how at times here winds up strengthening the intended and appropriate chaos of the story, especially in the beginning of the film. And on top of that, it also emphasizes the idea that no one has all the answers. But actually, without getting into spoilers, I do think a lot of those whys and hows could be answered quite simply by a very clear part of what it means to universe hop and what happens to someone. I mainly bring up that point because it is a criticism that I've seen floating around out there a bit. And, you know, I do know that this movie won't be for every single person on the planet. I mean, what movie is? But... I just had the exact opposite feeling on that particular matter, so I had to address it here. Daniels, Dan Kwan, and Daniel Scheinert have already proven they are one-of-a-kind filmmakers who never hold back while delivering daring, unique stories. But everything, everywhere in particular is just next-level stuff. The creativity is through the roof. I mean, my brain cannot even process how they came up with certain ideas here. And then... There's also this really strong attention to detail and also a love for those details that I imagine has to contribute to their ability to stitch them all together as beautifully and effectively as they do here. And I think that's also something that you can feel from the cast here as well. Obviously, I do not know this for sure, but this is just the feeling the movie gave me while watching. 
Everything Everywhere is made by a big group of, yes, hugely talented people, but also people who deeply cared about the story that they were telling. And really, I don't know how you pull off a movie like this without that. Every single lead character in this film demands an actor with significant range. In particular, Evelyn, Wayman, and their daughter, Joy. Yo is a powerhouse lead here. Of course, we know that. So right now I am feeling the urge to highlight Ki Hui Kwan and Stephanie Shu pretty heavily, probably because I know Yo is wonderful. And in their cases, Kwan pushed pause on acting for a good while, and Shu is a talent on the rise right now who just seemingly has no problem going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best in the business while having to tackle an immense performance challenge that kind of asks her to do literally everything. And then Quan is just a damn ray of light in this movie. Every time he appeared on screen, I was filled with, with hope, hope that things would improve, that Evelyn would get the information she needs to move forward. And when that would happen, it would happen for a variety of different reasons, depending on which Wayman he was. So again here, Yo is someone we all know well, we hear her name a lot and for very good reason. But right now I am very, very hopeful that Shu and Quan are gonna see their stars soar big time due to what they are able to accomplish in this movie. All right, let's score everything everywhere all at once. I am giving this movie Four and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale. I thoroughly enjoyed watching every single second of this movie. And then on top of that, it also made a significant impression on me that extends well beyond the credits. Again, it will likely be in my top 10 of 2022. And then on top of that, it's also a movie that I think I am never, ever going to forget. And I am just so deeply grateful we have it. All right, that is where I'm leaving you on this one. You know what I like you to do, especially on a movie I am as passionate about as everything, everywhere, all at once. Hit that comment section below, share your thoughts right there. Encourage everyone to see this film. I love it so much. I also owe a Patreon shout out for this review. It is going out to Neil. Neil, thank you so, so much for being a part of the Patreon crew and also for encouraging me to review this movie because clearly I have very strong and positive feelings about it. All right, I'll let you all go. Please stay tuned for more reviews. Like and share this one before you leave it and see you guys real soon.